Well, who likes coffee? I like coffee. I like good strong coffee. I like dark coffee. Sometimes I like coffee with a little bit of uh, Irish cream in it. Sometimes I like coffee with a little bit of Irish cream and a splash of bourbon. And by the way, that is really good. And it's not a big deal for the alcohol because the coffee's hot enough. I believe, I feel like, that the alcohol vaporizes right out and you just get the flavor. That's what I'm going with anyway. But, thinking about coffee, I decided I haven't ground up any coffee either with an electric grinder or a hand grinder. So, I got my hand grinders out. This one is one Happy Hair got from an antique store at one time. They're both hand operated. This one sits down like this and you crank it. It's kind of a two-handed operation, but you turn it like that and it grinds the beans. And the coffee goes in there and it smells good. This one is a different one, kind of a stand-up type. It goes like that. Coffee goes in there. Turn the crank there. The coffee comes out there. But unless you've got it mounted to something, it doesn't work real good because it, it just doesn't. Um, I got the pieces for it. I'm going to build a little stand to put under it and make it work. I'm not going to put you all through that, though. I'll, come, I'll do that later and come back after it's done. And then I got the really cool old coffee pot that she found somewhere at another place. And I got all the things to do it with. And I got that coffee pot back there I have never even used. I'm not even sure... I think I heat the water up here, pour it in there, and let it percolate back down. But I can't swear to that. Heat here, pour here. It's got holes in it. See, look at that. But I don't know. This piece comes out. It really does. Two-handed operation. And I may do it on that little cool old 1940s gas stove. Or I may do it around over yonder on the wood stove. But one way or the other, I'll have some fresh coffee and uh, I'll share if you're here or if you're watching. So, we'll be back later for that. Well, like I said, I was going to spare you the uh, gory details about doing all of it. But uh, what I decided was just to kind of put it all together and we'd see how it goes. And uh, put the pieces in, had to figure out a couple of things once or twice. And more than anything, I'm just telling you what's going on to fill up the the blank spot here where the pictures are so here as soon as we get it put together we'll grind some coffee all right so getting it put together and it went along pretty good and i'm not going for anything real high craftsmanship here i just want something that'll hold together and work pretty well just to use it maybe someday i'll come back and do something a little bit more artisan kind of stuff or even a little bit more quality but for right now i just want it to work one of the things that you run into once in a while when you get these screws like this you get a batch that is just a little bit weak and when you run an impact driver on them it'll snap them off uh i was trying to countersink them in the softer wood like this pine the two by four stuff it'll countersink into that just fine it'll pull itself right in but this plywood is a little trickier and so it doesn't countersink as well and of course i snapped the first one off and then had to go back in with the pliers and drag it back out little by little so what i did was i got a uh, a drill bit big enough so that I could just kind of give it a quick once over and make a hole kind of a recessed spot there where that head will go down in there it wouldn't be a big deal except this is the base and if there's a head sticking out then it's going to rock and be all all goofy and everything I don't want that so uh, I'm going to do it that way so anyway that was the that was the only hitch so far but uh be back in a sec Catch more coffee if I put the jar under the water.
<laughs> that smells good. Alright, all done. Next video, we'll actually make some coffee and drink it down. Cheers.